So defects on um, the leading and trailing edge of a blade may be dressed out by the use of needle files, such as these uh, files here. And the idea is that the repair should blend in smoothly with the edge and should not leave any sharp edges uh, or any sharp angles. So we have uh, a nick or a gouge here, but let me let me do another one. So let's say we have a little small nick like that. So a stone has hit the propeller and has left this little um, gouge on the propeller blade. If we didn't do anything about that, then there will be a stress concentration here and a crack will begin to propagate. And once cracks begin to propagate, then the propeller is um, is is of no use. Okay, we'll end up having to to uh, to scrap it. So we want to try and uh, eliminate that. So what we do is when when we get our little gouge, we want to blend it in. So we take away all this piece of aluminium okay so all this aluminium in, in here is all removed and that relieves any distresses and we shouldn't get any cracks propagating so uh, here's an example and here's the gouge and I've, I've made it big just for a, an example but the first thing we want to do is measure the depth of it so once we determine the depth, we then add on an additional two thousandths of an inch. If it was a burn mark, we'd add on uh, two hundredths of an inch, but uh, generally uh, it'll be due to a stone or something like that. We add on two thousandths of an inch. And that distance then becomes, so that distance there is known as the the rework depth, okay. The rework depth. Once we've established that, we then mark out an area ten times the rework depth, okay. and <clears throat> that area, as long as it is less than seven inches, um, is then removed by filing. So if 10 times the rework depth was 7.1 inches, we can't do it. If it was 6.9, then we can actually file away and take away all this, this metal. So, uh, yeah, you get your needle file out and um, you blend it in. Uh, probably doesn't look blended there, but you, you hope you get the idea. You blend in the... The repair and we shouldn't get any stress concentrations and therefore we shouldn't get any cracks propagating okay. so we do that on the leading edge and the trailing edge and the thing to remember is it is 10 times the depth and less than seven inches okay so that needs to be less than seven inches If we uh, go to the blade face or the blade back, we can also uh, perform some repairs. And repairs to the face and back of the blade are performed with a spoon-like rifle file. And that is used to dish out the damaged area. Okay. In this case, we again determine the rework depth. So we take that measurement and we add on the two thousandths of an inch or the two hundredths of an inch if it's a burn. And then we mark out an area that's 30 times the depth of the rework. Now in the US that is 20. Okay. But here in Europe it is uh, 30. So we mark out an area 30 times the depth of the rework. Now, this distance here, the depth 
that we've gone down, we need to check that off a chart. But generally, it can't be more than a quarter of the, the thickness of the blade. And this distance here shouldn't exceed a quarter of the cord length, or four inches. Once we're happy with all that, we get our files and uh, we file out this area and it's it becomes like a dish you know high area here going down to the low area and back up to the back up to the high area all right so just to recap uh if we're going to blend it out along the leading edge it's 10 times and if it's on the blade face or blade back it's 30 times the the rework depth 